Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to do a full, yes, okay, for, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, but also Aquarius, Mars, Venus, Mercury, wherever Aquarius energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so, okay, from whenever you see this video. Don't get caught up on the time. Um, because this is not a horoscope. This is an energy reading. So what are the major energies affecting Aquarius cumulatively? That's what this energy is going to talk about. And then more specifics we'll get into. I always offer an extended reading if you're interested in it. The link is below. Um, just click on it. It'll take you right there. And that includes a romance specific reading as well. So Aquarius, let's get into your oracle reading for this week. Hello, we're in Mercury retrograde. We're in Pisces season. Aquarius. I'm just getting some energies of sensuality for you. I'm just saying what I feel. Sort of this energy of maybe your love life picking up or being invigorated in ways that you had had a stalemate or things had died down, thought you had thought that things were dying down or um, your mind was elsewhere, other things were happening, but then there's this energy of you. Mm -hmm. Things starting to happen. Unfolding. That's how the cards are behaving. Something is unfolding. And I do feel this energy of a need, a need for human connection, a need for human contact. I know that I don't normally like once again this is not a, this is not this is not a romance reading. However you filter this energy is up to you. But your crowning energy is out. Let's see. Oh, your crowning energy is there. This is your grounding energy. Okay. Crowning energy. Bring your ideas to life. Something is, once again, getting shocked. This is like shockwave, baby. This is something coming into fruition, coming into life. And four plus two is the energy of six. It could very well be love. Sperm? Um, a sperm whale, let's say, you know, for Google's sake. Um, but there's definitely the energy of something like like something that makes life happen something that brings something new uh, there's there's something coming to life it's alive you know that kind of energy of energy being here invigorated ready prepared standing up straight prepared kind of energy pure energy electrified something jolted you something has just jolted you it could be something could be someone this is also in the energy of inspiration so this is how this piscean season could be affecting you you being that the water bearer you're almost like the conductor of a current of an electric current so you could actually be the cause or the current or the conductor of this energy you're feeling energy rushing through you that's the way that you're experiencing maybe emotions are affecting you in the way like almost electricity would run through water like sparking it to life bringing it to life or the water this piscean water that's surrounding us all right now is helping you to conduct ideas and energy riding the current currents of somebody else's emotions emotions being what is kind of shocking you to life or you being able to communicate to somebody through this emotion by connecting to them by connecting to them almost like you're a conductor a conductor of a current that's like your connection to them yes we're going to get deeper into it it's a really interesting in other words, you feel a spark between you and somebody else, or you feel a spark between you and an idea, right? But there's definitely this undeniable confidence and feeling of um, certainty that maybe hadn't been there before. Something there that wasn't there before. Could be a new opportunity that just came up for you guys too like out of the blue when you've been feeling like sort of in the dumps and like nothing has been going your way not, not, not that like almost like like there's been a lull type of energy right um even if good things have been happening to you in terms of your career this has more to do with what shakes you to your bones type of thing 
bring a gentle touch this is virgo energy i don't know if you're um, dealing with a Virgo, but this is definitely um, something that you want to nurture, something that you care for, something that warms your heart, something that you want to protect, something that you uh, help to grow. Think of Virgo energy cultivating, the cultivation, something that you want to go long term with, grow long term, a new, a, a newness, maybe a new life. Um, one plus eight equals nine, something coming to a head, something about to take off. Okay. Turkey spirit, this is also Virgo energy. Uh, give with gratitude and grace, the energy of giving your whole self to this person, the energy of sacrificing everything that you are to give your love to this person, sacrificing everything, uh, body, mind, heart, and spirit, Aquarius. This is altruism in its most physical form, which is putting maybe your life on the line or putting your life on hold or giving all of your energy to another person for love. Being inspired to bring somebody to life, to help somebody, to give somebody life. You could be becoming a parent, right? This could be parental energy of caring for somebody and loving somebody and, and loving somebody enough that you give everything to them and everything for them. Yeah, six plus one is definitely the energy of creation. But think about turkey and think about what turkey does around Thanksgiving. It gives its whole self. It's like it is the feast. And ooh, you may be the feast for somebody. Time to let go. Oh, okay. Three plus one, this energy of four. Grounding. But when groundhog comes up, this is very scorpionic energy in that it's actually under the ground and roots taking place. So this has to do with something that's very near and dear to your heart, something that you put a lot of energy and effort into. More and more, this seems like a relationship or a child, something that you gave your all to, something that you nurtured and cultivated, and it's gnawing at your heart. It's gnawing. There's something gnawing. You know that something is changing. There's a change that's going to come almost like a tower, like electric shock. There's some change that's going to happen and occur, and it, it's, it's sad for you. And I feel like that's what's actually been affecting how you feel maybe even you've been intentionally numbing yourself and trying to get away from this pain and that's why you irritable irritability there's an, it's like it's coming out in you in irritability because you're not really addressing what it really is which is just feel those freaking feelings of loss of sadness of hurt of of change of something that you don't want to change of having to let go letting go of something that's been gnawing at you for a long time you got to feel it to heal it something's coming you know that that cold cold heart forget about it it's going to be shocked it's going to there's going to be a current that runs through it this week and it's good it's necessary because this is all really healthy energy this is like meant to be and destiny um Sometimes life stings. Six plus four, something is coming to an end. Um, something that could have been, see, your whole world. It could be coming to you through the web. It could be coming to you just sort of in common knowledge. Once again, this is two energies of something that's been nagging you. Something that's been like, the, think the gadfly. Think of Socrates' gadfly. Something that's been poking at you. Why? Because it's time to change. And it's like, when this leaves or when this stage is done, you're going to have to change. And you know it on the deeper level. That it's not just about this change, this, this change that's gnawing at you. This impending ending, maybe a job is ending, something is ending, or something has already ended, but you haven't really completely fully released it yet. You know it's coming, you know it's coming down the pike, but you don't want to fully address it. You're trying to ignore it, but it keeps, it, it's, it's pestering you. This is also scorpionic energy of something coming, something poking at you, something stinging. It hurts. So there's something that you're going to have to heal from. Um, time for beginner mind. This is your energy. Okay. Um, Ooh, your energy coming through and making it very, very clear that you're going to use your defenses and your spikes and all like you're going to use all those needles to spike into somebody if they try anything. So your defenses are out. So you you feel attacked in some way. There's an energy of feeling attacked, but you know what you feel attacked by? Feelings. <laughs> and you can't throw your spikes at your own feelings. So this is a time for an open mindset and understanding and accepting and being tender and kind to yourself so that you don't end up turning all those spikes on yourself. 
some bristly, you've been bristly, you've been ready to defend somebody, maybe somebody that you love a great deal. Um, it's almost like you have to defend yourself against somebody that you love a great deal because they're the ones that is hurt that, that are hurting you. But I think they're very kind and very sweet. I don't think they're doing it on purpose. So maybe somebody has disappointed you or hurt you um, without you with like, like people can hurt us without doing something bad to us. You know, they can. It's almost like, um, just for example, I'm not saying you're going through a breakup, but say you're going through a breakup with somebody and they come to you and say, I'm so sorry, but I don't feel the way that I used to any, anymore. And, um, you know, maybe they give you one of these, these not, it's not you, it's me lines. But ultimately, what matters is they've been honest with you. They've been respectful. They haven't cheated on you. You know, it's just they need to be separate right now. They need they need to go their separate way. Now, that's not them doing anything wrong to you, but it is something that's hurtful to you. And it's almost like you're trying to avoid talking about it or even avoid talking to them uh, because you don't want to accept what you know is inevitable. Um, so you're bristling and you're irritable and you're frustrated, but the frustration has to do with these feelings that you're not letting yourself feel. Um, time, life is speeding up. Antelope spirits, this is the energy of two. Maybe things being a little bit out of balance. You having four hooves, but they're not planted on the ground. You feel like things are moving too quickly or things have gone by too quickly. Um, this is the energy of things coming together, of life being redesigned, of the DNA connecting. And it's almost like stitching two halves of you together, feeling like maybe two halves of you have come unraveled and have fallen apart. Um, maybe feeling like you're losing a part of yourself by losing this person and it's happening too freaking quickly something is going by too fast and it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing it could just be you're looking at your child and your baby is walking or saying the first words or going away to school like five years old you're having to watch them like nothing you're having to watch them go off on the bus for the first time that's not bad that's beautiful but it hurts it hurts and it doesn't make sense why it hurts, right? And so you're fighting it instead of letting yourself feel it. And what you really need to do is let yourself feel it like ugly freaking cry, Aquarius. That's the kind of energy because this is all about progress. There's all good stuff coming from this transition and it has to do with you and I still feel that sexy love. Um, be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy um and it could be an Aries is helping to firm you like firm you up <laughs> that was a real Phil Dumphy moment but I heard it um invigorated like making you this is that Mars energy right Aries is ruled by Mars this is that our Mars energy somehow affecting you and making you feel really fiery really powerful and really sexual and you know what I think I think it has to do with you translating you needing to be close and you needing to be held by somebody into sexual into sex because it's easier and it's more shallow and it's easier to deal with things that way but simultaneously you still want the closeness of another person it's like you need the fire inside of you you need to feel you need to feel something that you feel like you can be in control of this is having power this is having control feeling really really energized um but also being vulnerable underneath this is aries energy is making you feel really high on yourself that's what it's feeling. Um, but there's definitely that sensuality running this undertone. And then we have the grounding energy, which came out a long time ago. Chameleon energy, act as if, yeah, yeah, you're trying to hide from something. You're trying to pretend like everything is okay when it's not. Uh, four plus one is five. Changes are happening. And I think that the changes are just starting to shed their skin right now. It's you're growing, you're developing, you're changing. You, you can't hide this. Trying to blend into another moment, trying to find the way that you fit in with it with, with a new in a new circumstance or situation, trying to blend in or trying to hide and let people not see what you're actually going through. And then we have more Virgo energy, the energy of six, lay a solid foundation. Once again, love. It's almost like love is hiding or love look away. Love look away. Love look away from me. That's from the um, I think it's 
flower drum song is where that's such a beautiful, beautiful music. Maybe I'll attach it above head if I can find it, but it's a beautiful song of like, no, don't, don't want to feel this. Don't want to acknowledge it, but there's definitely an energy of something new beginning, something starting. Um, and you trying to find your sea legs and trying to find where and how you fit in with this new foundation that you're laying. Um, actually a beautiful energy in a striking time for you to be you uh building these building blocks maybe yeah i see you you being comfortable putting a lot of focus into the foundation of just like getting things done maybe even not wanting to be social and putting all your energy and tension into creating something that you can feel under your feet because you need to feel grounded right now and you don't. You feel like, what you feel like is like a live wire that's going crazy and nobody wants to go near or touch because it's sparking all over the place and going crazy. That's what you feel like. You feel like like a, like a live wire, a live wire. You're flying all over the place and nobody, you, you, nobody can touch you, right? Because you're just sort of flying all over the place. Um, because you need energy maybe you need the grounding and you know what the grounding could be well all this water is making your spreading your current all over the place what you need is that energy of earth you need that grounding energy and maybe this person that's in your life was that grounding energy for you and now for some reason you're going to be separated from them it's almost like you're losing your losing your grounding being ungrounded being a live wire it's like you're losing what grounded you and you don't know what to do with yourself. And now you're just like live wire, live energy, which is actually sexy and crazy. And you might be thinking about going into, you know, just feeling like feeling, feeling your roots, feeling, feeling something just to feel connected to another person rushing into something that maybe, you know, it's, it's going to be shallow. It's going to be quick, but it's going to be sexy type of energy, um, just to sort of distract yourself. But you really feel like there's almost too much energy in your body right now. Hold on. I'm going to turn the camera around Aquarius. Hold on. Here we go. Do you see? It's like, it's like this was your grounding energy. You need to be grounded. You're trying to find that thing that you're trying to fit in. You're trying to find that thing that grounds you. And it's almost like you feel it slipping away from you. Scared, not worried, uh, reactionary. Think of scorpionic energy living in extremes. Pop offish, defensive. Maybe you're the gadfly. You're the one biting and stinging everybody. An energy of really like wanting to throw your spikes at people. I can tell you this right now. Somebody is watching you right now and falling in love with you. I know that sounds crazy, but it's like, it's almost like they love to see you like this because this is as emotional as you get. And this is like what makes you human. It, it, and it's really, I have to say, it's almost like somebody, it, it's, it's endearing to somebody. Something beautiful is about to take place. I, I guarantee it. Let's move over into the extended and, and dig deeper into what's going on, what's happening, and what's going to come from this. But I got these strong nuances of romance. We're going to do your romance reading as well. Aquarius, I will see you guys. The link is below.